Hello there, I'm Aldra Hill and welcome back to some EU4 playing France in the Emperor 1.30 patch. I recorded all the episodes of this series at the start in one big bulk and I'm only just now recording it after seeing the series go live. My goodness, you guys like it. Thank you so much for all the wonderful feedback and positive stuff and likes. Whenever you guys leave a like and a comment, it really helps the series out and you guys clearly love the series. So thank you so very much, especially to those who have recently subscribed to the channel. Welcome. Now, it's 1466. I've been getting a little bit of advice from the comments, a couple of suggestions. And one thing that does definitely stick with me is I really do want to try and trigger the Burgundian inheritance, or rather, I want to benefit from it. Now, I was trying to wrap my brains whether or not I should try and maybe get rid of alliances or whatever, but I do have royal ties, so I'm happy to just keep it going. And it is still Charles as the king. So we should be pretty unlikely. It's annoying that he has an heir, but it should be pretty unlikely that we get it soon-ish, especially once we hit 1473, I believe the likelihood goes up. Now, in this war, we are just going to be pushing quite heavily onto these losers. I don't know why morale is so... Oh, yeah, it's because there's so many people here still. I have to fight Gelrir. Ugh. But we have an absolute ton of claims and valuable things, just in case you weren't aware. We have a province of Portugal. We have Naples. We have Milan. We are obscenely good right now. And it's just ridiculous how strong we are. And we're probably going to be trying to destroy the emperor, em emperor -er, rather than become the emperor, because I don't really want to be the emperor. I mean, I do have... Ooh. Dominate the empire. Less than one member of the HRE, or be the emperor of the HRE. And you get a subjugation case of Spillate on Poland. I didn't see that before. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's so weird. And you get... A claim? What? A permanent claim on Moskva? Oh, just one place? Oh, because the Russian campaign. Lame. But there's some cool stuff we can do. But I would like to try and go through the, the, the claimy good stuff and also push on to Castile later. But the thing is, I can't because we have to go through Burgundy to get it. So we're going to have to wait. And also it's, I know, owned by tributary subjects. That's not too bad then. So as long as we can get the Burgundian succession, we can kind of mill through our myriad missions. We do have some boys attempting to do some things. It's fine. So we're going to keep that mission going there. I do not want to state up that single province there. England, stop being a douche. Don't be like that. And once we have gotten the Brest dockyards, which we have to wait till Tech 6 to get, unfortunately, because my god, it's taking a long time to give me the Renaissance. Um, oh god, the card going past very loud. Once we do get that, we can get the Brest dockyards to get us five Carracks. And then once we completed that, we get oh, claims in all of England. And then we just have to beat them up. And that's going to make us so strong to be able to have English land all together. It's, it's going to take a little while. I keep looking at this mission like... But no, it's, it's, it's annoying. But we need to basically own Finister. So I do have to conquer Finister. And then vassalize the rest. Or just direct annex. Really wish I'd... I really wish I put a claim onto Finister now, but here we are. Although, to be honest, we have to wait till Tech 6 anyway, which is going to be 10 years. So I might just vassalize them instead and then annex them in 10 years. That's probably a better use of my Diplo power. Potentially. And luckily, we do still make a very sizable chunk of cash, which is great. And we also have our vassals helping us out. Oop, our quartermaster just died. We're going to need to fix that. Oh, what can we replace him with? Ooh, land maintenance modifier, which means more money. It's great because we're very rich. Oh, I just lost Stab for no reason. Ow. Damn you, Stab. Why would you do this to me? Where are these guys going? They're just like, the enemy forces are just like sprinting around in circles. Oh, because we've got Gelrir, haven't we? I forgot about that. I thought Gelrir wasn't independent. I suppose it is. Oh, well. Uh, we now can... Get independence of that oh, and annex that vassal which would be great let's try and uh, piece this guy out obviously i i don't really want to do anything with them i'm just going to take a big pile of money when it's time oh no my philosopher died as well damn he was he was keeping things back i'm going to wait a month tick to see if i get a new if i'm going to get rid of this missionary strength one i have no need for missionary strength everybody's catholic here everybody's a good catholic there we go tax modifier perfect Relations improved with Bourbon years. Very good. We're just going to wait for Brittany. And this is also giving us a nice chance to get things together. The other thing is that we do... And we still have that. Once we've got that... 
Now I need to have taken... Ah, damn. I can't get the Savoy stuff until I've beaten back that. Ah, it's such a shame. Which means my avenues of conquest are quite limited. I suppose I could fight um, Aragon to return cause to Naples and indeed conquer provinces for Naples. That could work quite well. Make a much more powerful vassal and weaken Aragon considerably. And there's the Siege of Nanti. You. Time to go. No? You don't want to? Okay. You're a jerk. Okay, so we're just going to wait. Uh, I'm going to put the army units right down. We have no loans to deal with, which is wonderful. So we have to wait till tech 6 before we can actually uh, get them. I want to take a look at my estates, because I'm not 100% sure I'm a fan of what I've done with them so far. I feel like I could maybe be increasing their value, because you can do things here which increases their influence and loyalty. Um, the oversight by clergy obviously lowers absolutism, we have to get rid of it later. But it gives me a much higher equilibrium for loyalty, which is very beneficial. And I have these strong loyalties increased levies one for the extra points. Oh my god, that is that is unpleasant. I actually can't even... Their loyalty must be higher than influence. Oh Jesus, that'll be interesting. Um, but we can get another one here, which is the right of council, which again gives them more influence and more loyalty. And the same for the bourgeoisie, and I think that could be higher, frankly. Which is, not, is it free enterprise? Yes, free enterprise. So it just, ooh, boy. So the influence gets pretty high. So we're going to summon a deer as well. Because, why not? Uh, Nimor's base tax of 7. Baden of at least 100 relation. This would actually mean I could almost, almost, um, ref draw the extra manpower bonus. Because to be honest, I could start going into mercenaries a bit, because I have a lot of manpower. I'm tempted to do that, because it increases their influence quite a bit. I'm going to do that, and I need to get 100 influence with Baden. Okay, so we're going to just take a look at Baden. Hello, Baden, what do you like? Oh, you're fine. Great. That'll be plenty of time. Ooh! Oh, I'm completely fine and ready to fight the enemies. Yeah, no problem. What a jackass I am. I've been attacked. Because I've lowered my army maintenance all the way. Stupid bugger. Gotta be careful, Aldra. Gotta be careful. Okay. To be honest, the AI is just kind of running around in circles doing nothing, so I don't really care. I mean, I do want money separately, but... I'm starting to think that it's actually not 100% sufficient to do this. I don't really care. I could... Oh no, I can get a little bit of money. That's good. Just a little bit. Thank you. And then we can just peace out. Oh, we lost the card. That's a shame. So, if we were to directly annex everybody, what would happen? Why, everyone would hate me. But if I were to vassalize them, it's 51. And that is actually an extremely doable coalition. Obviously, Brittany would hate me. Uh, Aragon and Lorraine. What is Lorraine's opinion of me, as it were? When's their truce? 68. So I'd need... Oh, that is, that's enough time. That's enough time. So basically, I'm trying to look at the coalition that would fire. But this is a sufficient amount of time to avoid having to deal with a coalition. So that is fine. I don't want to get any war reps or anything, so I will just take money. Oh god. Unfortunately, it is 164 um, to do this, but I think it's just going to save me a lot of hassle. I, I could just take Finister if I wanted to, but... I think it's going to be better in the long run, especially because I want to try and get admin points quite quickly. So, let's just do that. So, we're just going to vassalize them. Hooray! Why did I just get a big pile of rebels? They're violently opposed to centralization. Oh, did I... Okay. I don't quite understand why that's just happened, but... They're extremely small, so I'll just, I'm just going to beat them up. I'm, I'm just going to beat them up. Is it because I'm massively over my relations limit, perhaps? I think it possible. Oh, we are now no longer valid with Aragon. God, we need some more bloody rivals. I guess it's going to have to be the Mamluks or something. There's not really much else we can do because I don't want to rival Burgundy. 
in my bay. Uh, now, what else do we want to do? There's Catholic talents over here. What is going on over here? We have just subjugated Brittany, which gives us 100 Diplo power. And then we just need to get uh, a dock in there, and then we'll be fine. Great. Uh, and there's also another vassal I would like to start annexing. Do do do. Great. But, um, we have Armagnac. No, it's 75. 194 for Bourbonnais. Obviously not Brittany. And Provence is minus 151. Holy crap, really? I, I guess I did force vassalize you, so I guess I'd be pissed off as well. Um, let's get Bourbonnais and start annexing them. And it'll only take four years as well, which is really good. That's nice. That's real nice. And we're about to get an extra diplomatic relations slot from our ideas as well. And the key thing is I would like to try and avoid fighting any major battles until I can confidently say I've got the, um, the bonus from my Elan. So I do want to watch out for that. We do have a tech we can grab. Now, I wonder, are we going to be able to get Renaissance anytime soon? I don't think so, because it is taking it is sweet time. 1487. Because we don't have any development that's localized to it. Okay, so it is spreading over here. It is in Calais. That's not too bad, then. If Artois is going to get it in 6-8, we're going to get it in 71... It'll happen soon. Let's just get the tech now. Uh, let's get tech six now. Tech six is the is the most effective tech difference in the entire game. If you get tech six and someone is tech five, you get almost, I think it's like 118% more casualties. The state takes control of the guilds. The word guild, oh, one in terms used by Fournier in France and the Low Countries to denote the more modern word corporation stands for. In France and the Low Countries, a guild was originally a sort of fraternity for common support, protection, and amusement. Members paid each a certain contribution to the common fund. After the end of the 15th century, under the despotic rule of the French kings, the guild ceased to be a means of protection for the majority of the members, and their privileges became a means of fulfilling the royal coffers at the expense of the employers. So we can take control, make money and gain government reform progress, do not mess with them, or give even more control to the guilds. Now that's interesting. A flat little bit of power, take control of them and get government reform progress. And I mean, government reform progress is great, because you just start to get down the route of more effective administrative government. Though, to be honest, getting them quicker is not the best thing. There's only so much you can really bloody do with it. But... I don't really care about money. I like stability, but I like power more. But I will have to eventually get stability, so let's just get stability, because that could actually also mean we could start to get um, a nice, rich, and wealthy Paris. I can't remember the word for it, but you know, pr prosperity, prosperity, there we go. Beautiful. Look at that, I remembered it. Aren't you proud of me? So now we're going to sit quietly for a little bit, and kind of just get ourselves prepared. Now, we don't really need any of these bloody... We have a little bit of provincial separatists, but I think we can now lower all of our forts. Because we now make 11 ducats a month, which is crazy. So we should start spending that to improve our country. Oh, I love the coastal defense blockade force required. That's so good. Oh. I can build a dock. Hey. Oh, because they've got tech 6. I see. I see. Oh, if they get tech 6, I might be able to build it then. That'd be fun. Um, but let's get trade uh, in Reams. Though to be, oh no, that's that is actually my center of trade, so that's fine. Just try and improve that, and that's really good. We're now annexing two separate vassals, which is great. Uh, very useful, and oh my goodness, our heir is national unrest minus two. And he's a four four one, which is not very good. I'll be honest, he's a bit crap, but um, well, it's an average score, but it means I get other bonuses as well. That's fine. That's actually okay. So Spain just died, um, and he has a regency, and a male weak claimed heir. Doesn't look like the, the succession's going to take place for a little bit. I do like the unrest bonus, so that's pretty good. Not a big fan of his crappy stats, but, you know, what can you do? Austria is... Oh, I forgot. Yeah, Austria's not the emperor. <laughs> Get wrecked. Okay. Get wrecked. 
And we're going to just work on trying to get more prestige as per normal. And we're just having a little bit of time where we kind of prepare ourselves. I'm not going to be recruiting any soldiers because I'm about to be getting a lot of soldiers from my vassals, which is excellent. And I'm sipping some tea. Oops. Uh, we have a little bit of rebels in Provencal Separatists who will fire in Anjou. Wow, it's really taken a long time to stack up that, hasn't it? Christ. A promising trader. Ooh. Improved relations is, however, a little bit better, I would say. But a promising trader that is cheaper... Oh, he's literally barely cheaper. Uh, I do like improved relations because it means I get much, much less AE. And AE is my main constraint right now. Main, main constraint. So I want to watch out for that. I think I might also start to build a spy network. Oh, what happened with Baden? Oh no, they got negative relations with me because of my AE. Yeah, that's that's fair. That's going to take a couple years then. That's alright. We'll just wait for that. So we're in a period of brief peace while we chill out. Get ourselves ready. And unfortunately, we can't take much. The Truce of Aragon did just end. If they even attempt to try to get anything from me, I will have to declare war on them for some good stuff. Oh, yeah. There's another truce with mains. Very good. Sicilian heretics. What? That is weird. It must be a weird heresy. Horrifying. Truly horrifying. Okay. But yeah, we're looking good. Um, we probably could now try to seize even more land. Which would lower everyone's happiness with me. But I would really like to try... And revoke the levies bonus. Although, to be honest, I don't really need money. I do just need more manpower for endless conflict, don't I? So I'm actually going to keep this here. The risks of trade. Lose money, gain mercantilism. Boom. And we're going to see some land. Boop. Because now we have even more crown land. I believe there are some bonuses you get, right? 40% to 20%. Okay. Does it, does it not give bonuses? Yeah. What are you going to do? So, yes, a period of peace, calm, and prosperity, which is always lovely and appreciated. Tech 7 is also kind of near our reach, but I would like to try and go through the admin ideas. I mean, if I could get to admin tech cost before I have to do any more ideas, that would be great. But I also would like to start colonizing. French language and all courts, diplo relations, and merc maintenance. Beautiful. Okay. Give me those vassals, baby. That is what I want. I mean, we make 13 in a month right now. I wonder if maybe we could just go straight up to production efficiency. Do a plus two. Because we're just so wealthy, man. So gosh darn wealthy. And because we have to wait a little while now until we can even think about attacking Brittany, we might want to try and move into Aragon territory to return cause to Naples. Uh, on the sooner end of the scale. There's a couple more truces up. We do have some high liberty desire in province. Provence, rather. They're a little bit salty. Which they are. Just a little bit salty. Oh, it's a shame. That's fine. Um, I need to see if I can just get like a single claim onto these guys. And frankly, if I could just... I think I kind of just want one. Because then I can release Catalonia and take that from them. And wouldn't that be fun? So, boop, boop, boop. And then, great. So I'm going to be adding even more vassals to my control, but it is worth it. So, ooh, they only have, they have an ally. So we could do a reconquest to take this. But the thing is, you only get core return. You cannot take anything else. And it means you do get full AE for returning cores. So what I'm going to do is I will do a conquest CB or Rossello, and I will also give core, give provinces to Naples from these islands. And then what that will do is in the next war, because I will then release Catalonia as another vassal, I will then do a full reconquest CB to just return as many cores as possible to my most powerful personal union partners. So that's pretty good. I mean, the fact that I can call in Castile is frankly ridiculous. Um, though I wonder if I even need to, because I am so 
militarily powerful. I mean, I have 48,000, I'm not counting my vassals. And what does Aragorn have? 18,000. I don't need to call in Castile. No, Papal State can bite me. We're going to make the gold to take Rosello. And we're going to get over here and prepare the conflict. So let's do that. That's going to be it for the end of this episode, guys. Do make sure you are leaving likes and comments on this video. You have no idea how much it helps. It is such a big difference to the channel. And I really appreciate it. So I hope to see you guys in the next one. I was Al John, I can T2P, and this has been some E4 France. Bye-bye.